What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource, and before I begin, I have a few things I want to say to you. Um, first of all, I'm sorry for sounding like this, I got the flu unfortunately, but uh, I've been sitting down and thinking about this a lot, and I think I want to eventually knock down setup wars from twice a week, or sorry, once a week, to once every two weeks. Um, and I actually have two reasons for that. Reason number one is I'm simply getting burnt out. I've been doing setup wars once a week since June 2015, guys. That's two and a half years of doing the show without missing a single week, and it's starting to take a toll on me. It feels like every Monday is coming up faster and faster, and I just can't seem to catch up. So I feel like I really do need a break. Again, I don't know when I'm gonna do this, but I'm definitely thinking about it, and it might happen sometime in 2018. Uh, second reason is, if you guys look at my channel, 50% of my content is setup related. I do setup wars every Monday and setup montages every Saturday. That's eight episodes of setups per month. And I make 16, on average, 16 videos a month. That's 50% of tech source, basically just setup content. And that's not what tech source is about, guys. Uh, I'm gonna focus more on the stuff that I love to do, which is uh, PC build, unboxings, and reviews. That's basically why I started tech source. That's what I originally started doing. So as much as I love doing setup wars, I think I'm gonna focus more on the other things as well, because that is what this channel is about. It's tech source, not setup source. I also wanna focus on other types of content, start new series and bring back previous series that you guys missed, like uh, the top five overpriced tech, the ultimate desk setup and stuff like that. So I'm gonna focus on that as well for 2018. Setup Wars will still be the most popular show on my channel, but I gotta focus on other things. Otherwise, there's no point in growing. So yeah, I'm sorry for dragging this intro out, guys. I wanted to plug it in this video instead of making a separate one just for that announcement. But anyways, welcome to Setup Wars episode 137, where we submit your desk setup. If you guys wanna participate and wanna submit your desk setup, make sure to watch the video linked below. Let the Setup Wars begin. Starting off the show, we got Brian and a very balanced gaming, streaming, and editing setup featuring a 27-inch monitor from Acer and a 23-inch one from Lenovo up top. Both of them are hooked up to a desk mount, and speaking of the desk, he went with the beautiful Ek Backin countertop from Ikea and two Alex drawers for support and storage. Everything is neat and tidy on the surface. He's rocking the Logitech G810 keyboard with the G502 mouse and a spot to route the cables through. Very nice. A few other things he has on the desk are his skinned PS4 console, a charging station for the controllers, and a dock for an 8TB hard drive and 500 gigs of SSD. For audio, he's rocking a pair of Logitech Z313 speakers and two sets of headphones, the Sennheiser HD 558 and the 598s, which are hanging from the Brainwaves hanger away from sight. And he also got a Shure microphone that's hooked up to his Behringer audio interface. Definitely an interesting place for the boom arm, no doubt. There's a lot of people that prefer mounting it in the front of the desk instead of the back. I guess it depends on their preference. Instead of leaving the audio interface on the desk, Brian decided to mount it underneath his desk using some 3M tape. He also used a lot of cable clips to keep all the wires from hanging down. I think overall you did an excellent job. The PC powering the setup is beautifully built inside the NZXT H440 case, and it's packing the 4790K, 16 gigs of RAM, and the EVGA 1080 Ti FTW3 edition. A very clean build and a very clean setup. I think that the tabletop really brings everything together, so points on picking that up instead of the regular boring white or black tabletop. I also really like those hexagon shapes that you hung on the wall. It definitely adds some flavor to this setup. Personally, I think that looks cooler than just having nothing on the wall. Again, a beautiful setup. Thank you, Brian, for entering and starting off the show. Charlie is up next, and this is his setup for gaming, editing, and all productivity work. He's rocking three AOC monitors, the Corsair K70 keyboard, and the G502 mouse. For a 13 year old, that's a hell of a setup. Damn. He's even got a bit creative with the actual desk, so he picked up the Carl B countertop and a few risers which he installed on the Alex drawers. Hanging from under there are the M50X headphones and a Signum rack that's doing a pretty good job. Now the boom arm in this setup is actually in a place that I like, off to the right side, slightly behind the monitor and not in the way of anyone. The PC powering this setup, which is kind of hidden on the right side, features the 7600K and the EVGA 1080 Superclocked. 
I mean, it's not 100% hidden, but I would have found a nightstand or something higher so that the PC isn't that low to the ground. It's a shame you can't really see that. Another thing you can do to improve this setup slightly is by moving your headphones to the right side of your setup. That way there isn't a cable just hanging down from the middle. Using one of these brainwaves hangers that we saw in the previous contestant would help clean up your setup. But whatever it is that you're doing at just 13 years of age, keep it up man, this is some good stuff and thank you for entering. Cody is up next from North Carolina and his setup for gaming and schoolwork. So he's got a 27 inch Dell gaming monitor on the right and a 27 inch one on the left in the vertical orientation, which leads me to believe that he's some sort of a coder. Other than the Logitech speakers, the only things he has on his desk are the keyboard and mouse, which are tied together using some Velcro straps, nicely done. He's also got a blue Snowball Ice microphone hooked up to a boom arm. The cable management is very clean. I can see that he picked up a raceway for the wires. And one thing I noticed about Cody's setup is that he puts his headset in his drawer instead of just hanging it. I don't know if he did that for the video since he doesn't have a dedicated place to put them and he knew I was going to call him out on it, but I thought I would point that out. One thing I really like in his room is the custom charging station that he built next to his setup. It looks like he mounted a table against the wall and attached a long power strip which he uses to juice up his tech. But don't you think that's a little overkill though? I mean you're only using 4 out of the 9 ports and you have so much extra space to work with. Wrapping up his setup is the PC which is inside another NZXT case and it's packed with the 7600K and a GTX 1060. I love that the setup is clean but personally it's a bit bland. There isn't any flavor or personality. I mean, you gotta have something in there that makes this setup yours. Otherwise, it's just another generic setup with monitors, peripherals, and a PC. Either way, it's a great start. Just work on personalizing it from time to time. Thank you, Cody, for entering. Speaking of personalizing a setup, we got Dennis and his setup that he uses for gaming and coding. I mean, technically, the only thing he has for personalization is that skull which he uses as a headphone hanger, but it's still better than just having a plain setup. He mounted the 34-inch ultra-wide gaming monitor from LG on the wall, and below that he's got the Strike Battle Spectra keyboard and the Razer Naga Hex mouse with a pair of Cambridge Soundworks speakers. Things are nice and tidy underneath, it looks like his desk comes with a dedicated place to store the power strip and cables, which is nice, and he even added a wall raceway to cover the monitor wires, very nice. The PC powering the setup features the 7700K and the GTX 1080 from MSI with those sexy sleeved cables. Not a bad setup, I don't really have any recommendations, thank you Dennis for entering. Last but not least, we got Jordan and his gaming setup and I gotta give points right off the bat for presentation. That's a nice setup to look at with those three ultra wides from LG and the height is actually perfect. It's not blocking off the speakers like I see in other setups. He's also using the G410 keyboard and the Death Adder Elite mouse. At this point, it's obvious he's going with a black and red color scheme. And for the most part, I think he did a great job sticking with it, with the exception of his black and white sole headphones. I also like how you built those wall shelves for additional storage, and you even used one of them to hold your PC up there. That's actually a really great idea, as opposed to just putting it on the ground. If you guys are watching this video and your beautiful PC is on the ground because you don't have space on your desk or next to you because let's say there's a bed or something, then you should consider installing a wall shelf like Jordan. Obviously I would do some research and make sure it's sturdy enough to support your PC, but it's definitely a very nice alternative. Compared to having it on the ground, of course. No complaints to the cable management, looks like you knew what you were doing and somehow the PC powering your monitors has an i3-6100 and a GTX 1060. That's actually impressive if you're managing to push all those pixels without any lag. I also get this feeling that Jordan is obsessed with RGB lights. I mean if your door is wrapped in LED lights then I think there's something going on here. I'm surprised you don't have any LED lights in the corners of your ceiling. But anyways, you got a pretty sweet gaming setup. Thank you Jordan for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys drop your comments below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. Hope you guys are having an awesome new year and I will see you in the next one.